I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. It's not very long. And the point of the matter is you did some bullshit where you are using me and are continuing to intimidate me and subject me to this duress. And I'm supposed to give up. I'm supposed to understand. Somebody's pissed. We didn't seize her. We didn't seize her. And part of the way you understand you've succeeded in seizing me is that I don't have the motivation to do what I had already scheduled to do, right? I don't meet my own timeline. And so what I've been doing as I've been reviewing the opinions of the attorneys generals, both Greg Abbott and John Cornyn, I do that usually at a certain time, and then I transcribe it because I'm going to, you know, take my responses and, you know, do what I need to deal with them. I'm only a certain way away, right? But I'm going to do this different. I want you to hear what just happened. Did you already steal the voice file? I can see it going. Where's the voice file? Did you already steal the fucking voice file? No, I see. You're surveilling me. You're surveilling me. Okay, see, this is the problem. Why are you so prurient? Why are you so voyeuristic? Why don't you come and talk to me and give me the evidence you're required to give to me? Where is the voice file? I just made it. I just saw. It actually took the voice. You stole the voice record. Why did you steal the voice record? You literally right now just stole the fucking voice record. Why? Fine. Then you're going to have to hear it again. Opinion GA-007. Discussing... Whether a business entity or a business corporation upon conversion maintains as it was before the conversion and if as part of that conversion, the, bis the bingo enabling act statutes apply specific to the licensing and the relationship in the process of the conversion the problem is I cannot read the whole opinion because they're talking about conversion of a business entity, meaning a change in incorporation status and potentially name of corporation, but maintaining as is. And in the course of so doing, in this case, if you reference it under the corporation's code, then it means one thing. If you look under the occupations code, it means one thing. If you look under, what is it? What does it say? The business, the uh, acts related to the business uh, corporations and to the partnerships act. It says one thing. That's not what he requested. On January 6th of 2003, this representative from the Texas House of Representatives wanted invocation of the Bingo Enabling Act. And when it discusses the legitimacy of a lessor who is authorized to engage in commercial leasing, they reference section 2001.151 and say that the only exclusions have to do with foreign owned or foreign operated entities prior to the changes to the texas insurance code that went into effect on september 1st of 2001 the bingo enabling act made changes or made codes regarding the legal status of leasing and commercial leasing in qualification for licensing connected to bingo establishments. And 2001.151 refers to specifically the capacity or the, legitim or the legality of commercial leasing when it comes to licensing. Why is Greg Abbott not in prison right now?
Why is he still allowed to masquerade as if he is an actual representative of the people in performance of an official government uh, 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 government position? Why are is anybody allowing for him to moonlight as if he's a legitimate governor? Did the state of Texas, including the legislature, understand that they had already predeterministically willingly cooperated with the September 11th attacks in order to give themselves through their insurance companies and the specific market share the state of Texas has when it comes to being business situs of major insurance companies an advantage in using the state to launder the proceeds of the 9-11 attacks did you literally do that and aided to bet that cover up for the last 20 years? And now what? It's gotten so bad you're literally electronically exploiting so many people you have to try to bribe their teachers? And it's right there in the code. Did Citigroup co-conspire with its 2015 annual report to code this specific element of the predetermined conspiracy into its hedging strategy reflected in its annual report in 2015 that was later changed after they beta tested it in Hong Kong in the beginning of 2019. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And every single day you've sat on it and done something else up to and including make a whole huge smoke screen under the auspices of <clears throat> healthcare. You've aided and abetted this conspiracy. Greg Abbott needs to be deposed this evening. I've said this before. Every day you refuse to do that, you continue to promulgate this travesty. Is it true that the state of Texas is talking about giving people access to firearms without acquiring a permit? You need a license to operate a bingo, a bingo establishment. But they want to give guns to people without a license? I see. See, if they had any integrity, they would already have acknowledged that we had been infiltrated and that the infiltrators had every intention of attempting to compel us into ceding our rights and they would have called up and authorized the activation of the militia and they would have opened up the fucking armories. But that's not what they're doing. They're playing fucking bingo. And they think they can get away with it because they've been allowed to do that for the last 19 and a half years. No, they're not. You need to remove Greg Abbott from office today. The Texas governor, as is, has no legitimacy. Anybody in the Senate that does not immediately engage a proceeding to remove him from office is also implicated. If the Texas attorney general, alleged attorney general, can't get over his own allegations of securities fraud? Actually, he should already have stepped down. Ken Paxton should already have stepped down and removed himself from office. The fact that he did not and nobody compelled him to until this day is evidence of their culpability with this conspiracy. I'm sorry. None of you have any legitimacy as of today.